Good morning everybody. Thank you very much for joining me for today's session. We are going to flow through a full body stretch today. So we shall begin at the top of the mat. <coughs> Feet hip width apart, arms down by your sides, so shoulders down relaxed, away from your ears, standing up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, big sigh. <sighs> Bend your knees. Step back into a dog walk, bending those knees one at a time. Pull your tummy in, into your downward dog, heels down, hips up, chest to the thighs. We're going to take a little flow. So coming forward into plank pose, we're going to exhale to the floor, inhale to cobra, so lift up. Shoulders down away from your ears, tuck your toes, back into your dog walk. So just that little, little stretch to get everything moving into your downward dog. That's it. And then we're going to look forward, we're going to bring the right foot forward, we're going to come into high lunge. So, put that knee over the ankle, that back heel is pressing back, you can use that front knee to bring yourself up into high lunge, so stretching up, stretch those arms up, so nice and strong, and then from here we're going to just lower down to low lunge, we're going to take the hands behind, stretch them up, take them round to your left hip, so you're getting that stretch in your right shoulder, Release your left hand, place it on your right knee, big breath in, and then just turn and look over that right shoulder. So it's a lovely spinal twist here, keeping the chest open, keep breathing. That's it. And back to the front, inhale up. Let those hips sink nice and low, stretch those hands and fingers up. And then we're going to come into half monkey, bring the hands down, draw the hips back, straighten that right leg and engage the thigh. You can feel the stretch down the front of that, sorry, the back of that leg, <laughs> you engage the front of the leg. This is one of my favourite poses, lovely deep stretch here, you can kind of bring your left hip forward, that's it, wonderful. And then we're going to come back, so we're going to bring that knee back over the ankle. We're going to inhale back up again for our low lunge. Reach up nice and tall. We're going to exhale down, go back to our dog walk. So untuck your left foot, right foot back. Another little dog walk. Just bend those knees. So you're stretching out your feet and ankles as well. Into your downward dog. Lift those hips up and back, chest to the thighs, heels drawing downwards. They don't have to touch the floor as long as they're drawing downwards. And then look forward. And we're going to step that left foot forward for high lunge on this side. So, <clears throat> excuse me, extend back through that right foot. Coming up onto your high lunge. Inhale the hands up. It's a big stretch down the front of that right hip flexor. And then very gently lower to your low lunge. Take the hands behind, lift them up, around to your right hip. So you get a stretch in your left shoulder this time. Release your right hand and place it on your left knee. Lift up out of your lower back, inhale. Exhale over that left shoulder. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got the croaks. <laughs> That's it. So really opening the chest, a wonderful spinal twist, and then back to the front, inhale those hands up again. Big stretch here, let the hips sink low. Into your half monkey, hands down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Hips back, straighten that left leg, engage your thigh. So it's a wonderful stretch all the way up the back of that leg. Bring your right hip slightly forward just to increase that stretch. Really, really nice. And then coming back, low lunge last time. Reaching up. And then bring those hands down. And we're going to take that left leg back. We're going to come into 
our gate post. So we're going to be kneeling up for this. So in the centre, <coughs> in the centre of your mat, you're kneeling up nice and tall. We're going to take that right leg out. So you'll get a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Inhale your hands up. So reaching up nice and tall. Let your right hand slide down that left right leg and your left arm alongside your ear. So you're getting a stretch here. And also by rolling that shoulder back, you're aligning your knee, hip, shoulder, elbow and wrist. So everything is aligned. Remember not to hold your breath. That's it. You can kind of use that hand to kind of open up the chest and you're just gentle pressure there. That's it. Lovely side body stretch. Inhale, both hands up. Big stretch. Exhale, bring the hands together at your heart centre. And bring that right foot back. And we'll do the left side. Left leg out. So again, stretch it out. Your body tends to want to face the way of your leg. So bring that body back to the front. Inhale up. Exhale that left hand down and that right arm rolls back, that right shoulder rather, so that if it's coming forward, everything is, is out of alignment. So keeping that shoulder rolled backwards, reaching over nice and strong with that right hand with those fingertips. Lovely side body stretch. Wonderful. And inhale back. Bringing those hands down heart centre, palms together and we're going to leave that left leg out to the side and tuck the right one in. We're going to do head to knee and then we're going to do baby wild thing. So extending that leg out to the side, I want you to stretch the arms up and just fold gently. Listen to your body, only come down to a point that's comfortable for you. So it's a side stretch, folding down. Again, it's, it, as long as the aim is there, it doesn't, you don't have to be all the way down. Listen to your body, never strain. Just folding down. And then slowly coming back up, we're going to go into our baby wild thing. So take that right hand down and lift that left arm up and over. So get a lovely big stretch here. Keep breathing and release. And we're going to do the other side. So stretch that leg out and tuck the left one in. So again, just turn the body and only come down. You'll find probably one side easier than the other, as we always do. Just folding down again as far as is good for you. Listen to your body. That's it. Folding down. Then we're going to come slowly out. We're going to go into our baby wild thing on this side. So the left hand comes down, the right arm, right arm, right arm and hand come up and reaching over into our baby wild thing on this side. That's it. Lovely wake up stretch. And release. Okay, bring those feet back together. We're going to do a seated Spinal twist, so sit up nice and tall, you can sit cross-legged, easy pose, one leg in front of the other, whatever is most comfortable for you, you can even kneel if you wish. But sitting up nice and tall, we're going to turn to the right and look over the right shoulder, so left hand on your right knee, that's it. Remember not to hold your breath, make sure that shoulder's not up alongside your ear, push down so that you're lengthening up out of your lower back, that's it. And release to the front and we'll do the other side so left hand behind right hand on left knee again lifting up out of your lower back inhale up and then exhale over your left shoulder wonderful spinal twists are wonderful not only for your obviously for your back but they're great for your digestion massaging all your internal organs coming back to the front we're going to bring the soles of the feet together out in front. We're going to come into a nice 
passive forward bend in our turtle pose. So keeping those knees a little more than a 90 degree angle, we're just going to fold forward. Now you can keep your hands on top and um, if you're quite close to your legs and you decide you want to go into turtle pose, you can thread those hands underneath and come down a little bit lower. But it is a passive fold, so there's no pushing and pulling, just relaxing here. It's a lovely stretch through your hips and your inner thighs. And it's very relaxing because your head's hanging and you're just folding forward and just breathing and relaxing. It's a nice stretch along the back. And just slow your breathing down. Just be aware of your breathing. Okay, so if you've got your arms threaded, very gently unthread them. Lift yourself back up. Bring those knees together, grab your feet round your back. So you've got a spinal contraction here, tuck your chin. Nice little stretch. And then we're just gonna finish with our butterfly pose. So we're gonna bring those feet back up as close as is comfortable for you. If you find it easier, you can put a little cushion underneath. If your hips are above your knees, you'll find this slightly easier. But if your knees are up here, that doesn't matter, just Flap those butterfly wings, open up the hips, stretch out the inner thighs, take a nice big breath in, inhale, exhale, as you exhale just push those knees down to the side, never strain, so just a little, as I said before, if your knees are up here that's fine, try not to round your back and sink into your shoulders, sit up as tall as you can while you do this, take another breath. And just take those knees down just a teeny bit further and release. So just coming into a comfortable seated position, we're going to finish with a lovely cleansing breath. So bring your hands together at your heart, close your eyes, we're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So inhale and exhale. Bowing forward. Namaste. So thank you so much for joining me today. I would love to hear how you felt after this practice. Um, so don't forget to leave me a comment, let me know and share it with someone that you think might enjoy it as well. I do have lots of other videos available so um, I'd like to wish you a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye.